Hello everybody, it's Ann. I'm back. Ooh! Yes, I have one eye done. And no, this is not another aura look. This one is cream makeup. And I've got my elf and Island Breeze little compact that I'm working with. I've got the e.l.f. serum foundation on and I've got this stuff, the Zero Sweat Antiperspirant Lotion on my face and I've got my Rimmel Lash Accelerator and my Apto Skin Antioxidant Mist, the lovely pomegranate. This stuff is wonderful. I really, I'm almost out. I've got to order more. And when I went to check on the Apto site this morning, the bugger was sold out. And it's like, mm. So, <clears throat> I will have to keep an eye on that so I can get my refill. Anyway, yeah, I've got the eyebrows on, and I've got one eye, and I've got the foundation with a little powder over it. That's it. So, I'm going to show you what I do with cream stuff, because as you can tell, it's pretty subtle. I end up usually going pretty subtle when I'm using some of the cream stuff just because I don't want to get it all thick and cakey and if I want intense colors I'll, I vary the type of brush I use or the amount of pressure I use or what kind of um, base I put under the eyeshadow. In this case, I'm using the Ruby Kisses, which is a kind of a creamy beige. It's not my bright white. Sometimes I don't use any base at all on my eyelids for creams. Because being creams, they're kind of their own base. But sometimes I put on a primer. It just, it's one of those, what am I doing today kind of things. And it pretty much varies with a whim. Okay. Let's find the one. Ha-ha. Kind of try and keep my eye brushes straight so I can use the same color on the on the brush for when I do the other eye. <laughs> you have to kind of keep track of these things when you're doing it this way instead of, you know, all at once. Anyway, there are no names on this palette for these colors. I'm using this kind of peachy color down here. just kind of dragging that across a little bit. Now I'm using a basic flat eye brush just to go across to where I want that peachy color to kind of be and then stop. Simple. Makes sense, don't it? I'm scared. I'm doing something that makes sense. Alrighty. Now, I'm putting this one down. Okay? Okay. And I'm going to pick up... This brush is done by S.H.E. She. I don't know why they did the name that way, but that's how they did it. Anyway, technically this is a cream brush. 
Some people will look at you and go, but it's round. It's a cream brush. So now I'm going to take that burgundy color and do this portion. And I'm starting in the middle a little bit to just kind of mark where that peachy color stops. And then dragging it over. And getting down here on the eyelid and you know back up here just a little bit and all that stuff like I said I'm not going for a bold look if I wanted something really bold with that burgundy I'd use a flat brush instead of the round brush I just want this to kind of you know be the darker side darker part at the outer corner but I don't want it to be too dark I mean it's summer it's spring I want some brights I just am that way now I'm going to take this little tiny flat brush and there's this chocolate brown down here I'm going to pick up the chocolate brown just a little bit and put just a little bit right on the edge of that. Not much, just a little. Just the tiniest little bit. It's a baby color. It's only getting a little bit. And then I'm going to take some of that brown and go right down under here. Just because, and then link that up. And for this particular, I'm probably going to go take a, another walk kind of look. I'm feeling some better than I did yesterday. Yes, thank you. I got a lot of people going, oh, feel better, please. Oh, feel better, please. And I'm going, oh, thank you. I, I, I feel better, please. Thank you. And I'm going to take some of this gold that's down here. Now this stuff is a little chunky. I mean, it just, it, it's a little chunky. So it doesn't go down that smooth. But I'm just working a little bit into the inner corner here more as just a bit of a glow there than much of anything else and then a little bit of that under the lower lashes kind of like that and then I'm going to take this white creamy color up here that's got some glit to it and I'm using the back side of that brush that I used to pick up the gold. It's one of the nice things about some of the flat brushes. You can get away with just flipping them over. And I'm going to put that right in the inner corner. To give me my little bit of glitz. Right there. And then right up here under the brow. And no, I'm not necessarily doing the whole face in creams today, but I wanted to do this cream eye look as part of my cream product series. Alrighty. I'm going to run away and do, you know, most of the basic stuff. You know, stick the mascara on and a little bit of eyeliner and a little blush and that kind of thing. And I will be back to finish up with the highlight and the lippy. And then I'm going to go wander. Yeah, wander. We'll call it wander. What I'm going to be doing is walking through town collecting Pokemon and hitting the Poke Stop. So I've got the little balls and yes, I game. That would be me. Back in 
a minute. Alrighty, we are back with some shaky lines and some mascara and the blusher and the bronzer, yada yada. Warmed up the face a little bit. Now, on the video I did for the first, which was one of the aura looks, even though it was a hurry slap in the dash, I used the um, face candy unicorn glow highlighter collection well today i got out the face candy mermaid glow highlighter collection just because i'm trying to be fair <laughs> yeah it's got a lot of glowy stuff even on just the backing for the for the palette and it's all really pretty. I'm thinking of using this one just because. It's got kind of, it's called Gleam and it's kind of a cream and pink. So let's see what happens. Since I'm wearing kind of a tomato bisque shirt and there's kind of pinky tone to the eyeshadow and Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that is a gorgeous pink. Again, since my lighting and camera setup is not optimum, I will try to do my best in post-production to adjust the lighting. No, I don't put filters on. I adjust the lighting and I adjust some of the color saturation so that it brings them up. Um, I don't put masks on. The closest thing I've got to a beauty filter on is the ring light around my camera. I figure that's plenty. You're here to see me do makeup on me and see how it looks on my older wrinkly skin and not how it looks in a filter. I mean, how are you supposed to tell if something appeals to you and have any chance of understanding whether or not it's actually going to work on you if you're looking at somebody that even though they're you know 60 and relatively wrinkly if they're putting a filter on so that they look like maybe they're 40 and not so wrinkly and how are you supposed to know if the product is actually going to work at all from your point of view if the person doing it is putting stuff on and then using all manner of camera fidgery to try to make it look like something completely different. I put this stuff on. I adjust my white balance. I adjust my settings to br make it more visible but if you notice there's a a lot that shows up on my face that a lot of other people wouldn't show it's like I have big red patches in here and even with foundation and concealer they're not always covered when I clarify the picture, they're still right there. I've got the same problem with my nose. I've got, between the lupus and the patchy, scaly stuff that happens here and on my nose, and being part Celtic and having a little bit of rosacea to go with it, I've got a heck of a combo here in this entire zone. I'm not going to try and make that 
disappear because it's part of my face. It's part of what I'm dealing with when I'm doing the makeup. So, yeah. Y'all get what you see. And you see what you get. I will guarantee you, if you were actually walking down the street in my little town, you would be able to recognize me because I don't filter the hell out of my videos. That's a challenge. <laughs> Come on over to town. Take a walk through the historic district. District. I might be out there. Hanging on my pink theme. This is my Wet n Wild Cat Suit High Shine, which I dearly love. And this is Taffy Tantrum. I still think it should have been called Bubblegum Blowout, but that's me. Anyway, that's it. That is my it for the day. This is going to be my walking suit for the day. Tell me what you think. Did you like it? Don't you like it? If you're feeling generous, give me a thumbs up. If you like it, hang around. Hit subscribe if you're feeling like it. Hit the bell or don't that's up to you but I hope you come back if you like what you saw in the meantime please remember I don't have bail money please be good <laughs>